To get regular updates, subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon. Hello friends, I am Dipalisha from Example. In this lesson, we are going to see further about the origin of life on earth, biological evolution, etc. If you have not watched the previous video about the origin of life on earth with the Big Bang Theory, please watch that first and then continue with this lesson. Before getting started, do not forget to subscribe to our channel to get the regular updates. So let's get started. Biological Evolution The essence of Darwinian theory about evolution is natural selection. The rate of appearance of the new forms is linked to the life cycle or the lifespan. Microbes that divide fast have the ability to multiply and become millions of individuals within hours. A colony of bacteria type A growing on a given medium has built-in variation in terms of ability to utilize a feed component. A change in the medium composition would bring out only that part of the population of type B that can survive under the new conditions. In due course of time, this variant population outgrows the others and appears as new species. This could happen within days. For the same thing to happen in a fish or fowl would take millions of years as the lifespan of these animals are in years. And hence, there must be a genetic basis for getting selected and to evolve. Another way of saying the same thing is that the some organisms are better to adapt to survive in an otherwise hostile environment. The adaptative ability is inherited, it has a genetic basis, the fitness is the end result of the ability to adapt and get selected by the nature. A brief account of the evolution About 2000 millions of years ago, the first cellular forms of life appeared on earth. The mechanism of how non-cellular aggregates of the giant macromolecules could evolve into cells with membranous envelope is not known. Some of these cells had the ability to release O2. The reaction could have been similar to the light reaction in photosynthesis where water is split with the help of the solar energy captured and channelized by the appropriate light harvesting pigments. Slowly, single cell organisms became the multicellular life forms. By the time of 500 MYA, invertebrates were formed and were active. The jawless fish probably evolved around 350 MYA. Seaweeds and few plants existed probably around 320 MYA. We are told that the first organisms that invaded land were the plants. They were widespread on land when animals invaded land. Fish with stout and strong fins could move on land and go back to water. This was about 350 MYA. These animals, called lobe fins, evolved into the first amphibians that lived on both land and water. These were the ancestors of the modern day frogs and salamanders. The amphibians evolved into reptiles. They lay thick shelled eggs which do not dry up in sun unlike those of the amphibians. Again, we only see their modern day descendants, the turtles, tortoises and crocodiles. In the next 200 million years or so, reptiles of different shapes and sizes dominated on earth. Giant ferns, pteridophytes were present along with the reptiles but they all fell to form coal deposits slowly. Some of these land reptiles went back into the water to evolve into fish like reptiles probably 200 million years ago, for example, Ichthyosaurus. The land reptiles were, of course, the dinosaurs. The biggest of them were Trinosaurus and Ultrasaurus. About 65 million years ago, the dinosaurs suddenly disappeared from the earth. We do not know the true reason. Some say that the climatic changes killed them, while some say that most of them evolved into the birds. The throat may live in between. Small sized reptiles of that era still exist today. The first mammals were like shrews. Their fossils are small sized. Mammals were viviparous and protected their unborn young inside the mother's body. 
Mammals were more intelligent in sensing and avoiding danger at least. When reptiles came down, mammals took over this earth. Origin and Evolution of Man About 15 million years ago, primates called Dryopithecus and Ramapithecus were existing. They were hairy and walked like gorillas and chimpanzees. Ramapithecus was more man-like while Dryopithecus was more ape-like. Few fossils of man-like bones have been discovered in Ethiopia and Tanzania. These reveal the hominid features leading to the belief that about 3 or 4 million years ago, man-like primates walked in Eastern Africa. They were probably not taller than 4 feet but walked upright. 2 million years ago, Australopithecines probably lived in East African grasslands. Evidence shows they hunted with stones weapon but essentially ate fruit. Some of the bones among the bones discovered were different. This creature was called the first human like being the hominid and were called Homo habilis. The brain capacities were between 650 to 800 cc. They probably did not eat meat. The Neanderthal man with a brain size of 1400 cc lived in Near East and Central Asia between the 1 lakh to 40,000 years ago. They used hides to protect their body and bury their dead. Homo sapiens arose in Africa and moved across continents and developed into distinct races. During Ice Age between 75,000 to 10,000 years ago, modern Homo sapiens arose. Prehistoric cave art developed about 18,000 years ago. Agriculture came around 10,000 years ago and human settlement started. The rest of what happened is part of the human history of growth and decline of the civilizations. With this, we have come to the end of this session. Thank you for watching till the end. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel to get the regular updates. Thank you.